Alright, in this video we're going to spend a few moments talking about wikis. A really, really helpful tool you might want to add to your site. A great way to capture low-level information, procedural information, and to create a knowledge base to help supplement any of the content or activities on your site. So the first step in creating a wiki is to add one to your site. And anyone with sufficient permission can do this from the home page by clicking on this new icon. We want to add a new app. When we select a new app to add, uh, we're presented with this list and the default sorting on this list is by newest. However, this list tends to be a lot more helpful if you sort by name instead. So I'm going to click on name and you can see all the different types of apps we can add. In this case, we're looking for a wiki page library. So I'm going to select my wiki page library to add and we'll go ahead and give this wiki a name. I'll call it my new site wiki. And we'll go ahead and create it. Now here I can see my new site wiki appearing in my site contents along with all my other existing lists and libraries like company documents. If I click on my new wiki, I'm taken to my wiki home page. Uh, this is just a default template page that every new wiki starts with. But there's a good chance I don't want to keep this content. I want to put my own content in here. Well, that's very easy to do. I can click on the page tab in the upper left hand corner and use the very first button to put this page into edit mode. At this point editing the page works very similar to setting up a web document. And I can go ahead and add some new topics into my wiki. And again, because all this behaves just like Microsoft Word, the formatting controls should feel very intuitive. Any new topics that I want to create, I can simply enclose that topic in a square double bracket. And this will create a new placeholder page for that topic. So let's say I have three topics on my site. Topic one, topic two, and topic three. I want each of these subtopics to have their own wiki page. So again, I enclose them in double square brackets, and then I save the changes to my page. Notice that each of these placeholder links I've created is now drawn on the page with a dashed underline. This dashed underline indicates that a placeholder has been created, but there's no page behind that placeholder yet. So let's say I want to go out and fill out the content for my page topic one. I can just click on the link for topic one. SharePoint will recognize this is a page that doesn't yet exist and it's going to ask me, do you want to create a new wiki page for this topic? At this point I can say yes, I want to create a new page for this topic. And I will be taken to a new blank wiki page. The editing process for that new wiki page is going to be identical to the one we just set up. I can even link to other topics. And I may want to provide a link at the bottom of the page for users to get back to the wiki home. Now notice from the wiki home, topic one no longer has the dashed underline because there's an actual page that sits for topic one. I could do the same thing creating pages for topic two and three and linking them together. 
So again, very, very easy to edit these pages. Uh, and the real key here is anytime you want to create a new page, just be sure to include whatever words you want to act as the link in the page title in square double brackets. So this is a wiki, very, very easy to set up. And like I said in the introduction, very, very powerful tool, uh, something you may want to consider adding to your site. It's a great way to capture knowledge and low level information and uh, procedural support information and help make your site a little bit more useful uh, than just being a giant repository of documents to any users who want to come and use it.